Hello, I'm Sean McMillan, the creator of Great Boy the Game, and today I'm going to teach you how to play. So let's take a look at the rules. But it is very important about when you would change locations on the hex map. So let's take a look at the rules for how to change locations on the hex map. Before we decide uh, what to do next, we have to decide, do we want to spend more strength to visit more cards, or do we want to leave this location and come back later? Okay, so for instance, we could spend one strength to stay at this location. So I would go down to 52, and we could visit, we could basically all three visit. And since we're all only exploring one card, it's only going to cost, well, so it costs one strength to stay at this location, and it costs another strength to explore this card. Now what we need to do is we need to double check our objective cards to see if it's time to draw a new objective card. So if I look at the rules of this, it says, give to the first player before he chooses which location to visit after village one. So this is going to give some new information to the first player. This will give some information to the second player. And this will give some information to the third player. And then based on the information, they're going to discuss about which hexagon they should visit. Second player may suggest he go to the western region, whereas the third player may suggest he go to the third region. And this is where the game gets kind of interesting. Both of the players, you know, the players have different conflicting objectives. So they're both competing for the first players uh, to persuade the first player. And so to keep track of this, what we're going to do is we're going to give location cards, a location card deck to each of the second and third players. So a second player will get this one, and third player could get this one. And if you look at the cards, these cards actually correspond to the locations on the hex map. So there's one of these for each of the hexagon locations. Okay. Now there's three village locations and three mountain locations, but there's only one card for it. So this, this represents all of the mountains, and the village one represents all of the village ones. Okay. And so after they've discussed and they've tried to influence the first player, they kind of have some idea of what, where the first player is going to go. And so what they're going to do is second and third player are simultaneously going to choose one card, place it face down, and then they're going to simultaneously reveal which location they want the first player to go to. So he's suggesting that the first player go to the mountains. This guy is suggesting that the first player go to the graveyard. And now the first player has to decide which of those locations he wants to go to or if he wants to go to a third location. If he chooses to go to the graveyard or if he chooses to go to the mountains, so let's say he decides to go to the graveyard, then because he chose the card that the second player chose, the second player, which is represented by green cubes, is going to get one influence on the great boy. Okay, so you will place his cube of influence on his image up here on the left, and that way we can keep track of how many times he has sided with the second player. And some of your objective cards will tell you what to do when you gain a certain amount of influence. Now let's talk about how to calculate strength when, when visiting different locations. So he decided to go to the graveyard from village one. Now if you notice closely here, village one, village two, and village three, they're all lateral. So there's, it does not cost any strength to go from here to here to here to here. It costs no strength. When it costs strength is when you go up or down. So if you ascend or if you descend, for each time you ascend or descend, it costs one strength. So to go from village two to graveyard, you have to ascend two steps. So that's going to cost you two strength. So we'll go from 51 to 49. And again, later on, if I decide to go from the graveyard to the church, that means I have to descend two and then ascend one. But going from village two to village one does not cost any strength. So down two, up one for a total of three strength. 